Hello and welcome to the video for how do I use the UMG text box. I've gone ahead and whipped up a quick example here. I've included a video resolution pop-up that basically we're going to use to take input from a text box, apply it to a string, and then change the resolution that the player's game will be running in. Let me go ahead and change my start up blueprint so we can watch this in use. And I will go ahead and run this so we can see it in action. So we have our standard text box. We have hinting applied to it. We will change it into a 1280 by 1024 resolution and hit change. And you'll notice the resolution changes. So we'll go ahead and go through this so we can see the example. The UMG text box basically has the following slots unique to it. We have our content slot. We have the content slot, the style slot, and then two events. For content, we have the text itself. This contains the value of the content in the text box. And then we have the hint text, which is the lightly grayed color in the background. You would use that, for example, enter password, enter name, any hint you would like. It does not affect the value. It's simply there until they start typing. You have your standard styling. You can style the background image, the hovering image, what happens when you focus it, and as well as if it is read only. You have your standard text changes such as padding, font type, font size, foreground color, background color, the color of the foreground when it's read only, if it has a scroll bar both vertical and horizontal, as well as the type of scroll bar if one is needed. The two unique events are on text changed and on text committed. On text change will fire every single time the text changes. So for example, after every time they enter a key, it will change. Perhaps you'd hook into that and make it so everything they type in would be capitalized. On text committed happens when they hit enter. So that way, if they type something in, you could have it, for example, automatically accept the input. If we go through our code here, we will find something fairly simple. Basically, when the player clicks on the change button, I execute a console command. For the console command, I'm simply setting the resolution by taking the text box, getting the text out of it, and appending it to my string, and doing the same for the height. The standard way to get text is simply using get text for your text box. As you can see, the text box is a great way to simply have the user give you input, which you can then act upon.